Hey all, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we are checking out the Casper Dog Mattress. Casper has been a huge name in the mattress world, and of course now they have a similar bed for dogs. It comes in three different sizes here, and we have the medium size. It is intended for dogs up to 60 pounds. Now, just like the larger mattress intended for humans, the Casper mattress for dogs comes in a small compact box. When you open up the top, you have a few different things that separate it out from the human style mattress, including a little faux newspaper called the snooze paper that walks you through some of the features, setup, and everything else of the dog mattress. Casper is all about the experience. So that's why not only do you have the snooze paper on top, you have the little doggy picture there, complete with a pool tab that re kind of represents the dog's mouth. And then there is even a bonus dog toy thrown in on the top it is a little waffle little stuffed waffle with a casper c on the front a little to and from tag that you can cut off or your dogs will tear that off immediately as ours did i will say the toy did not last all that long with our dogs they are big chewers and they took to the new dog the new toy pretty quick and within just a few days kind of tore this thing to shreds but you're not buying this for the toy you're buying this for the actual dog bed itself so let's go ahead and check it out the material in the dog bed is different than that of the human mattress. There is two different foams here and no latex like in the human mattress. There is a pressure relieving memory foam and then a second durable support foam that goes into different areas. But the dogs are not really going to notice. It's basically just still a nice foam bed that is extremely durable. So inside this bag, all compact up, you have the support foam for the sides and then the memory foam that consists of the base, the bottom of the dog bed. These are all the pieces of support foam you have. These go around all the sides of the bed, and they themselves are wrapped in their own protective cover. These go inside of the actual slip cover that is for the entire bed. It is a little bit odd, and you have to follow the directions to put this thing together, but it only takes a few moments. But what is nice about it coming apart like this is that anytime it gets too dirty, you can take off the cover and throw that whole thing into the wash, wash it out very well. It is a nylon durable cover here that does a really good job of holding up to some crazy dogs. Casper did think of a lot of the small details, including little pockets here on the sides that hide the zippers when they're not in use. That would make it a little bit harder for dogs to try to pull on them and chew on them, which is something you definitely do not want them to do. It also makes it a little bit more difficult for them to actually open up the zipper. Now, as you can see, we open this up. One side is completely sewn together. You slide that part in, add the memory foam here in the center, add the three other support foams around the outside, and zip the whole thing together. There are two different sections, so the inside section here gets zipped up first, then the support foam section gets zipped up around the outside. It is all very easy to do and just takes a few minutes, and everything here feels very well built and very durable, even as I'm putting it together before I even subjected it to the torture of our dogs. This bed looks really nice. We really dig the way that Casper designed this. There is heathered material around the outside. It comes in three different colors, blue, sand, and gray. Obviously, we have gone with the gray color here, but they all have that black bottom heathered finish on the sides, just in different hues, and then kind of like a suede type top that's very, very durable to dogs as they dig and play around. So how does this hold up to the daily wear and tear of different dogs? Now we have two dogs, both of them are heavy diggers. Both of them are around 50 pounds, and they can be pretty aggressive with beds. We've gone through a lot of different dog beds here. I will say they really, really went to this bed. They both seem to love it, and they did do a lot of digging. Casper says there's a little bit of extra material around the top that makes it a little bit more fun for them to dig around in. And even as he's getting rough housing and digging and digging and digging, we've had this for months, and it has held up very well. I will say that we did have one seam start to open on this inside area here just from all the constant digging that Dublin here continued to do but it literally only took us a few moments we opened up the side sewed it back together really quick and it was no big deal it is a little bit disappointing that it kind of tore at all but as you can see these two dogs are pretty crazy when it comes to dog beds they're doing this every single day so the fact that it made it several several months six months or so with this kind of rough housing and it only had a small small hole up here that we were able to fix without issue, it's pretty impressive for us and is for sure a win when it comes to dog beds. Now the Casper dog bed does come in on the expensive side, starting out at $125 for the small, which fits dogs up to 30 pounds. There's the medium for 150, which is up to 60 pounds, and then large dogs up to 90 pounds for 225. This is for sure on the high end of dog beds. But as I said, we've gone through a ton of different dog beds and they absolutely love this bed. They seem very comfortable. They lay in it for hours. 
and it has held up to the most extreme beating that they can throw at it with really little damage whatsoever. It's washable and honestly it looks great, it looks a lot better than most of the dog beds out there. If you want to pick one of these guys up, we've gone ahead and made it easy and put a link down below in the description for you, but I'd also love to hear what you guys think. So let me know in the description or reach out to me directly on Twitter with any questions at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.